Hello, folks. So if you saw my last video where I was considering um, possibly getting a Celestron Rasa 8-inch and pairing it with my uh, QHY10 one-shot color camera, I, I posted uh, that question and I got so many excellent comments and everybody seemed to have an opinion on this. And um, I mean, it was great. I still have to go through them all and just think about this a lot. But a couple of the comments talked about um, that I might be undersampled with this combination. And I was actually a little embarrassed that I, you know, being in this hobby, I didn't really know what undersampling or oversampling even meant. And you, you, uh, you'd think I should know this by now, but I didn't. So I, I felt obligated. Well, I need to go learn what this is. And so I did a little research, and this is what I found out. Um, if you want to know your, um, if you're undersampled or oversampled, um, you, you would want to calculate your image scale. And I've actually talked about this before, I think, in my uh, plate solving video on how to calculate image scale, where you take uh, the pixel size divided by the focal length and multiply it by this magic number of 206. And the ideal range you'd want to be in is 1 to 2. And now from what I'm hearing about being oversampled is that if you're under 1.0, it, it, it may lead to bloated stars. Now this is just a guideline, of course. And if you're over 2.0, uh, that would mean you're undersampled and it might lead to um, blocky or, or pixelated stars. And I, I should just write here, um, oversampled under sampled. So this is what I've, I, I'm, I'm learning about. And, 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 I, and I just say that, make sure you know, this is just a guideline. When I I talk to my local guru, you know, I was talking about uh, Jason, Mr. Image of the Day. He said, you know, oversampling, um, undersampling, maybe a, as an issue, maybe a little overrated. Um, you can get through a lot of these issues with processing, you know, but he's the expert in processing. And for me, I would like every advantage I can get before I even get into processing. And so I started, I created this spreadsheet to just take a look at, at what people were talking about when they said I might be undersampled. So let's plug in. I was thinking about the Rasa 8 inch and with its um, 400 focal length. So let's plug in four, I got, I already set up the formula here, 400 focal length. And the QHY10 with his uh, 6.05 pixel size, 6.05, 3.11. So that's actually over 50% over the guideline of 2.0. So I would definitely be under sample. So the people who, who left that comment for me on my Rasa video, um, yeah, thanks for bringing that to my attention. They, they were certainly right about being under sampled. And um, again, when I was um, I was talking to Jason, and, and you know, before I even talked about undersampling or oversampling, I was talking about this this combination of matching an Arasa eight inch with my QHY ten automatically, without even thinking about it. He said, you know, the ASI one eighty three would be a, probably be a better combination for that. I, I don't know how he knows this stuff off the top of his head instantly, but I tried that. Let me plug in the number of the pixel size here for the one eighty three, two point four. Yeah, there it is, 1.2 falls into a nice range, so <laughs> way to go, Jason. You certainly nailed that one, and some other people nailed that one, too. And uh, now I was really curious. Um, what if I plugged in my QHY10, the 6.05, with a Rasa 11-inch, which uh, I pulled this number. I think it was 620. It has a 620 focal length. 2.01, so that seems to fall a little closer to that ideal range. So my one-shot color camera and a Rasa 11 definitely seems like a better match. And now I went even further. Well, my current setup um, with my ASI 1600 3.8, matching that up with my um, big refractor out there, which I have a reducer on, and the focal length is 761. 
that actually is a pretty good combo that I've got going right now with an image scale of 1.02. So that's, that's interesting. Now, I'll take this further. What surprised me is that the ASI-183 might not be the best camera for my existing telescope. But if I put in 2.4 into that, it drops me down to 0.64 as the image scale, which might possibly lead to bloated stars, uh, according to what I've been reading. So that, that was interesting. And even the ASI-183, let's, let's try it with our RASA 11-inch 620 focal length. Yeah, 0.79, a little better. So that was interesting. So it, it, it's just an interesting way to, to look at all the numbers. And I showed you that astronomy tools to figure out your, your field of view in that previous video about the RASA. And now this, this is just another interesting aspect to take into consideration when you're buying cameras and telescopes. But, you know, I, and one caveat is I... I did not take into consideration seeing conditions. That can be a whole other part of this equation, but I, that, that's, to me, too much of a variable. I, I don't know how to really get into all that. So um, I, I, this is what I've discovered, um, but I'd like to hear your opinion on this whole thing. If I've got something wrong, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching, folks. I will see you later.